Hello guys, this will be an introduction to LabVIEW course, uh, a beginner uh, LabVIEW tutorial. First of all, let's open LabVIEW. Uh, I'm, uh, I have uh, National Islamic LabVIEW 2013 uh, release. Okay, now I'm opening LabVIEW. This is not important. Uh, first of all, uh, you have uh, two uh, panels uh, in front of you. The first one is uh, to create project, and the second one is for opening an existing project uh, that you have uh, done. Uh, all LabVIEW has uh, the files uh, from uh, VI. VI is uh, representing for a virtual instrument. Uh, and we have also to create a new project, uh, LabVIEW project. Uh, let's say click on a new VI, VI virtual instrument, it's the first thing you will face. Okay, now you, you will have a two panels, the first one is front panel, that's, uh, and the second one is block diagram. In the front panel, you do all uh, in the front panel uh, all the graphicals, uh, programming and uh, graphics because LabVIEW is a graphical programming language. It's a high level progr graphical programming language. Uh, here we will have the user interface uh, GUI graphical user interface. In uh, the block diagram, you will do all the programming or the coding. Okay, so. Uh, in front panel, it's uh, the graphical uh, interface uh, that you will put uh, all the graphical uh, instruments and in the block diagram you will uh, do all the programming process and uh, the connection between each of others. Okay. Uh, LabVIEW is a graphical programming language, uh, it's a high level programming language. LabVIEW is uh, very ho helpful for uh, laboratory uh, mechanism or laboratory interfaces. Uh, LabVIEW can uh, do a data acquisition from any source. Uh, also because LabVIEW, uh, National Instrument, uh, the general, the founder of LabVIEW, is uh, making instruments in uh, very much uh, in very high quality and uh, distributed among the world. Uh, it's uh, very easy to use LabVIEW to control these uh, instruments uh, using LabVIEW because it's own programming language. Also, you can use uh, LabVIEW offers an interface for any uh, instrument from any uh, from any institution. Uh, for example, Arduino PLCs. You can deal. Uh, with them with LabVIEW. LabVIEW offer you an interface with PLCs uh, like OPC server and uh, any kind of PLCs not just LabVIEW PLCs also uh, with Arduino with any uh, instrument you want uh, LabVIEW offers an interface with it uh, also okay for example if we want to uh, see what uh, front panel I have uh, you will see that uh, there is, uh, if we do a right click, you will see that we have modern, silver, system, classic. All of them are the same, but uh, the difference is uh, in the shape of uh, the, uh, the item. Uh, because uh, LabVIEW wants uh, to have a real uh, simulation of a machine or an uh, instrument to make it easier for uh, the user to deal with the lab view and the real instrument. Uh, we have a modern, uh, like we see, numeric uh, Boolean array. Uh, for a numeric, there is uh, in lab view three types of items. We have control, we have indicator, and we have constant. Uh, control and indicator shows in uh, the front panel and the block diagram, but indicator is uh, just visible in the block diagram. For example, if we get a controller and we get an indicator and we run and we put a number in the control and it's uh, suppose that the numeric 2, the indicator will have the same value. If we click on run, this is a run or execute uh, button. If we click and run, it's uh, supposed to have the same uh, value, but it uh, doesn't. Why? Because in the block diagram, we didn't program, uh, program it to have the same value. So we'll go to the block diagram of block diagram and we connect uh, the numeric control with the numeric indicator as we see. So now 
uh, if we run the program it will have the same value but there is another problem uh, that if we, if I change uh, the, the number of the controller it will not change until I click on run so because this is because the program is executing for just once so I have two solutions first of all to uh, click on run continuously it will make the program run in an in, infinite in loop until I click on stop so if I click on it the program will run continuously so if I change in the numeric control there uh, will be a change in the numeric indicator so I click on stop and this is pause if, and this is click is stop okay if I click on stop I have another solution a programmable solution I can uh, make a loop or a while loop infinity while loop and this is a condition a loop condition where it will stop I will create a control and this is the number of iterations that is execute now if I go to create control or create constant I will take create control and make it if this button is clicked it will stop now if I change the number it will change in the indicator and now I have a good we will come back to loops again later okay also I have timestamp uh, this will get the time and date from uh, the PC or computer also I have a timestamp indicator also I have a vertical uh, sliding uh, this is a fill sensor or fill scale I can change all the scale of it by changing the last one we will see later okay uh, almost all of them are the same as we see uh, but uh, or can do the same job but uh, the difference is just in the shape of uh, the scale or the shape of the uh, uh, graphical itself uh, this is because lab if you wants uh, the user to have the same interface uh, that, that uh, he has in uh, real uh, in instruments so to have a, uh, an easy uh, an easy interface with the uh, lab view and the machines uh, this knob is a uh, controller you can che uh, check uh, or can select a value from uh, moving it also I can also I can uh, uh, change the scale also I can change the scale as one I want for example if I uh, put uh, 10,000 it will divide uh, the scale to uh, equal separations or clusters so I have also in DL the same but with a line and uh, I have a meter, I have a gauge pressure, I have a tank, thermometer, horizontal and vertical scrolling and framed color, I can make a frame with a color okay now uh, if uh, lab view is offering a lot of methods, all, all of these are the same now if I click on uh, boolean, the uh, boolean is a button or a something that have two values maybe on or off zero or one so all of these are boolean are the same but different in the shape if I double click on any item it will show its position in the block diagram and uh, I have um, for example a lead slide switch a vertical slide switch ok button cancel button uh, stop button uh, radio buttons we will see it later if we program in the next lessons okay I have uh, also string paths I have uh, a pay and matrices also I have for example this matrix a matrix uh, I have list of table graph uh, ring onion, for example if I if we, if see, if we want to see a, a graph it's like an oscilloscope it have the amplitude in this axis and time in this axis so I can uh, view any signal I want this is another uh, time mixed uh, signal graph ok uh, these all chips are uh, used uh, of, uh, instruments are used to design any instrument I want 
and I can change the size and uh, the view of the transparent of any, uh, of any item I choose for example I widen this item and I can scale it and small, make it small at any size I want ok this is uh, what uh, we will talk about uh, in the front panel let's go to uh, block diagram we have here structures we have uh, for loop, while loop, time structure, case structure this is all the same of uh, any programming language for example C, Java, C++, uh, JavaScript any language have the same uh, method but as we show, as we see before uh, the shape of uh, this uh, method is uh, different for example if we use while loop it was a, a quarter uh, of uh, or a, a square that you will put anything you want to repeat in it okay we also have a, a numerical functions for example add subtract multiply divide uh, decrement increment absolute value around into n round into two okay now uh, as we see if we check uh, or click or any one we have uh, its input and output uh, and any we have also comparison numerical control and the numerical constant to make it an input for this ok and by clicking on it uh, the pointer will change to a uh, Ring that we can use in connection. Also, we have Boolean, all uh, Boolean algebra operations, for example, and or exclusive or and not or uh, not or and uh, carry on. Also, we have strings, we have comparison, we have timing. For example, this is a tick uh, count. Also, we have a delay, uh, a delay. What you have a delay or oh, what is called here? Wait, it's a delay function. I can it uh, also I can input any waveform I want. Then it's time one bit. Okay, now let's uh, let's program a simple program. Uh, let's delete all of this by Control A delete and Control A delete. Uh, if I want a program to uh, count two numbers, uh, adding them together and uh, show the uh, results. First of all, I need uh, two controllers. Or, or first of all, the function. Then I will put two controllers, uh, or I can do uh, put a constant and uh, decide what, what the value of it. But as we see, controller to change the value. These are the two controllers uh, for the uh, function and for the output it should be indicator to show me the result if I click on control it is not connected to, uh, because it's uh, wrong to have a control oh sorry I click on controller again it uh, should be indicator now I will click on indicator now the program is almost ready I can uh, change the dimension of the, the square also I can change the position and uh, the transparent and the color uh, anything of it I can change now I will change the position for example if I run 0 plus 0 is 0 if I change to 1 and 4 I need to run the program again now if I click on run continuously and I change the number it will very easy method for programming now as, as we do before uh, we need to put it in a loop to uh, not uh, make it uh, run continuously but it's, uh, it's wrong to do it now I will make a loop hop, uh, and uh, the program will show continuously ok Uh, hope you find uh, this uh, hope uh, hope that 
uh, you uh, find this uh, lesson is good uh, subscribe for uh, more lessons and uh, to improve our skills in lab view because lab view is a, is a very very important to, uh, for any engineer and it is a tool that you can use anytime and anywhere to deal with any instrument and any problem you face and it has a lot of functions uh, that you can use okay thank you for uh, listening uh, and uh, subscribe for more videos thank you